No, it's impossible. You can't, you can't understand holacracy without practicing it. You know, it's about playing it, um, following the rules to some extent, um, experiencing it, and then, then there's this process of be becoming more conscious about, about what it's really about. It's really the experience of holacracy. You can see it from the outside in, you can read about it, you can understand it cognitively, but man, it makes such a difference when you actually are in it. It's major. You, I mean, you, you look at it as a concept and, you know, the theory component and you think, yes, this is, I mean, this is really cool, it will work. But without the practice, you can see the power of it in um, reaching a decision. So you cannot have it in theory without the practice. The practice has a major component of understanding the whole uh, approach. So what we recommend is getting your team together for some experience where you can really try it, see the difference, and get that first-hand, kind of first-person, visceral experience so you can compare, you can discuss together, you can have some reflections on it, and then you can be much more informed. I remember it was me and three other colleagues who went to the practitioner training and you know we've uh, we've been exposed to holacracy, we've read about it, we've tried and we thought okay we don't really know enough so we need to know more. This is why we came to, the, <laughs> to that training. I would say the practitioner training not only helped accelerate the adoption and the learning but it also provided a much deeper understanding of why and what you know, all the different mechanics in Holacracy, you can read the books and you can understand those mechanics, but it's not immediately obvious why those mechanics were there. And so the practitioner training helped people understand Holacracy practice more at the core. So as they encountered issues, they could reach back to that understanding and adapt. But it feels like when people go through like a five day training, there's inevitably this kind of like aha moment, like two, three or four days in, where something happens where there's a shift and they kind of get it. And to this day, we can tell who took that practitioner training and who didn't, just because they're just ex their knowledge and understanding of what the what the framework and the methodology is about and how it works was just you know far ahead of others. And in fact, the peer coaches or the coaches that we use within the organization, uh, I think in every case they were people that participated in the practitioner training. They just understood it at a at a more you know in your heart kind of kind of way. With the practitioner training, I mean, less than one year, and we're uh, we're up and running uh, on holacracy. So I think that's uh, that's really uh, good uh, progress to us.